What's up guys, the Blue Hedgehog here. Welcome back to another episode of my F1 2021 My Team Career Mode for the season finale of Season 1 from the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. If you did miss the previous episode from Australia, be sure to check that video out before you see this one. It's going to be an interesting race and uh, qualifying could be my strong link or could be my weak link. We'll see. There it is, gorgeous Yasmarina. Next season, we're going to have 21 races, thanks to the new update uh, EA just came out with yesterday, which is the Portuguese Grand Prix, so there's our first one. So we're going to see how we do in qualifying. was a little wide through that corner. This is the last season we're going to be running this layout because come F1 2022, this hairpin right here is going to be a thing of the past. Down the back straight away here in Abu Dhabi, the United Arab Emirates, the season finale. We've been racing this track for now a decade, if you know what I mean. This is the only track in the Middle East that starts in the day and ends at night. My roommates are being goofy. If you're all are wondering what the heck they're doing. Like that. Kimi Raikkonen. P3 after that run. Gonna go for a second run. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. Okay, that was too much curve I just took. We've won every race here in the Yaz Marina circuit. I seriously doubt er until last year where we didn't where we didn't win the finale and thank you for the update there PlayStation Couple of scruffy laps, but should be alright. I mean, the track's gonna. Yep, 
body damage really just killed our car. Go bomb like that. That would have been bad. Just say CJ did it for you, and then you can blame CJ for that. Currently down in P18. I lost all that ground in that middle sector. that lap. Mm -hmm. Ah, damn it! I just lost okay? the back of the car. We're out of qualifying. I just ran wide. When I hit that bump coming out of three, it just upset the car and I just lost it. Yeah. That's our qualifying done. So we ain't qualifying on a sour note, which is yeah. not good. Yeah. Damn, that sucked. And and to add top on that, our teammate just out qualified us, so that's just a double whammy. Russell qualifies Latifi, Schumacher qualifies Mesman, and then I don't know the rest about that. So <laughs> that sucks. We had we had a chance to probably get into Q2. We just lost a lot of time on that first lap and just got scruffy on the second lap. We were pushing on that third lap, third and fourth lap, but. Just lost the back of the car, and that really sucks. So, that's by the way, the first time this first time ever since I've started this, uh. F1 series on this channel in 2017, the F1 2017 career mode I started, that I've been out qualified by a teammate in Abu Dhabi, period. Well, Gigi's the lung guard. He out qualified us, but we're going to get a free choice of tire. We only used one set of softs, and... We have four sets of softs, two sets of mediums, and a hard tire, so think, uh, I think we're going to have to think about what we're going to do for the race strategy coming up for today's race. So That is not the way to end qualifying, as qualifying for us ends on a sour note.
But hope let's end the race on a positive note. Okay, is there anything I need to upgrade before we start the race? <laughs> oh, I don't have anything for the one deal. I don't have anything for the major, so... Alright, so only only will be fine, so... So, alright. Let's do this. Welcome to the Gas Marina Circuit for the finale of another thrilling Formula 1 season. It's been a breathtaking year, and we end it at a track that's been the scene of many glories and heartbreaks over its history. It's time to end the season in style. It's time for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. The drivers will be racing here at the Gas Marina Circuit through 21 corners and a lap distance of just over 3.4 miles. There are a few opportunities to pass, with long straights and DRS zones in two places, turns 8 and turn 11. Plenty of close racing then, plenty of speed, and I hope plenty of drama to be found in the laps ahead. Oh, the Aston Martin safety car. That's also another new feature if you weren't with us in the Australian Grand Prix last time out. So Baltas still lead. St so the championship's gonna come down the wire, and I probably need to get my water over here so I can yeah, he take goes, a drink. Oh, I hope that's not Christ. I hope that's yeah. not the star. There's old Con. Didn't think about who we're gonna have our, for our teammate next it's season. Time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position, and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Norris, Perez, Lewis Hamilton, and Ocon. Wow, Hamilton with his worst qualifying of the season. Sonoda and Carlos Sainz. They've taken a grid penalty. Sainz out qualified Leclerc. Kimi Raikkonen and Giovinazzi. Ricardo, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Russell, Christian Lunga and Nicholas Latifi. Thomas, Gasly, wow. taken a grid penalty. Gasly took a penalty. And Mick Schumacher. And there's the two Hasses. It's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. Would like to get Mickey Schumacher. Okay, let's finish the season with a strong effort. Yes, we will. So let's see, we got a couple of drivers who got into Q3 on the medium tire, some are on the softs. So we're elevated to P19 after our start didn't go so well. Five red lights ahead of the drivers for the Yas Marina finale! It's lights out and away we go! hell was that, asshole, that just hit me? Whoever the asshole was next to me, you're a fucking moron. Whoa, Russell. Goddamn, we're just backing everybody up. Like, let's just slam on the brakes for no fucking reason, Russell. Fucking idiot. Now I'm about to lose all that ground I just gained for all, absolutely nothing. I don't know why we're losing a lot of ground unless we just don't have the pace to catch up. Shit! 
God damn, we are just having a lot of tightness in the car. Like, we just got no speed or something. I just got no grip. No speed, no grip, no nothing. One of the Haas cars has got an issue as we ran wide. Max Verstappen will lead lap one. He won this race last year. One of the McLarens just dove to the pits. That's Daniel Ricciardo. That's Mick Schumacher who's had a problem. Daniel Ricciardo's had a shocker of a start here at Yas Marina as we've completed the first lap of 55. No, no, no. Ah, oh, shit. I'm really struggling trying to get the power down. I'm gonna cover the outside. Damn, car really just starting to kick in the understeer. I just got no freaking grip. The car just does not want to turn for some reason. Like, I just can't... I just got no power down the straightaway, and I'm just... Now with Giovinazzi getting ready to pass me, so that's another spot. Hitting the curve's not gonna catch help us catch Russell at all. I had to go three wide because I had to go take evasive action so I didn't get hit. God damn it, I'm turning too early. Okay, this is Jeff. I need you to stop cutting the corners. If you keep it up, the steward will award your penalty. Shut up, Jeff. Okay, copy that. Norris is in. Understood, copy that.
car gap to the car in front is 1.9 seconds. Was close. I almost had that. Almost hit the barrier. Gasly's in. We're leading our teammate by 3.0 seconds. seconds. DRS range. What the hell, game? I was in DRS range. What the shit? Wow, really? I'm in DRS range. Thank you. Didn't do that on that one straight away, but I got DRS on this straight away. Like, what the hell, game? One of the Alpines is holding us up. That must be uh, Ocon. He's holding us up as we're going to try to get a move on Russell. And we do. Nice move. Good job. Good job. I'm getting pulled on the straightaway. Damn it! Why is the brakes like not wanting to work for some reason? Car slows down for some reason. Now we're P eleven. Look at that cheese. 
I'm trying to catch him and he pulls away on me like I got no straight line speed. God damn it. Wow, I've just got no speed. Okay, focus. We need to stay on form. Well, I can't do that. I didn't want... God damn it, Sonata! Why do you have to brake check me, you fucking Japanese moron? Really? Can we stop slamming the brakes on me? Apparently not. Sonata, you're about to be the world's biggest jackass ever. I had to get out of the brakes, so I think the AI really needs to stop brake checking me. Cause I can't even overtake them. They're gonna continue to brake check me and try to ruin our race. Whoa, car, car, car! Why are we all? Why are we fighting a tight car all of a sudden? Oh, science is coming in. That contact he had with uh, Ocon is gonna cost cost him a spot. Now I'm just struggling for grip on these tires. Make sure you guys can. <sighs> Look at that shit. We're just getting dragged. Whoa, car, slow down quicker. Look at that bullshit. I'm just getting dragged on the straightaway. God damn it, Sonata. Fucking idiot, quit slamming on the brakes! Ah! Uh, fucking Sonata can't stop slamming on the fucking brakes. I'm about to fucking take him out. Tell Sonata to stop brake checking me or he's gonna get fucking run over. I'm tired of him holding me up. Say again, you're breaking up. He's being an asshole, Jeff. Didn't catch that. Say again. Didn't catch that my ass, Jeff. Can't fucking get around Sonata if Sonata's gonna keep fucking brake checking us. He's gonna get fucking killed if he ain't careful. God fucking damn it! Hate every time. I hate that fucking corner. I'm trying to pass somebody and the car won't want to turn. Either I just have no grip or I just have no fucking speed. 
Fucking Sonata, can you fucking drive without driving three feet up your ass? Shut up, Jeff. I can't fucking drive if you're talking. Jeff can't shut up for five seconds. I'll smack him with a goat. But for how long? A new strategy is available on the MFD. Copy that. Need to quit giving the AI a fucking chance to catch up. And I keep running wide. And now I'm got now I've lost the spot and Riken had just chopped me off. Cause he doesn't give a fucking shit about us. Pushed us wide. And CJ's jumping up and down, screaming, go backwards, go backwards. I'm about to smack him with a billy goat. God damn, car. Would you stop sliding all over the place? God damn, do, do we have a problem with this car? What the fuck is the deal, car? I am just tight all of a sudden. I just have no grip. Oh, for God's sake, car. No, I don't want to be stuck behind. I do not want to be stuck behind fucking Sonata. I need to be going forwards, but for some reason the car wants to go backwards. Say, no, we don't want you to score points. And I'm just getting my ass kicked on the straightaways, like something's wrong with the car. This is going to be a recurring theme until we get competitive. Now holding off Sonata is going to be a fucking problem. Car's just understeering, just had no grip, can't turn, getting past. There's something fucking wrong with this car, and we just can't drive it. I don't have a good, I don't know what's a good setup. I'm struggling trying to keep up with the AI, and that's a huge problem. This is goddamn fucking embarrassing. Damn, keep overdriving the corner like we got a problem or something. Yeah, car keeps pushing to the right, won't want to turn. Just got no speed or something. Car, why did you slam on the brakes for no reason, you fucking retarded thing? 
Do I need to smack you now or later, car? Ah, oh, shit! Mate, the car's all over the damn place! No, you're not having trouble receiving because you're just being a jackass, Jeff. The car is all over the place like it does not want to turn. And now we're in danger of just getting our asses whipped by our fucking teammate again. See, and I have to lift coming out of the corner, and that's a problem. Like, we just don't have a setup to make this car competitive. That or we just suck. And look at that shit. I just get pulled on the damn straightaway. I don't know how we're gonna get competitive. Oh, car, why do you have to go very deep on the brakes? I got Norris on my ass. I don't know where the pace of the car is. Been struggling lately. Just no speed. Our teammate's gonna pit first. Safety car has been deployed. Slow down and maintain a positive delta. There's been an incident resulting in a high level of debris on the track. Confirmed, we'll proceed you at the end of the slap. Oh, this is gonna hurt our race. race to be there. Exit, exit now. Right, we have two stops left in this strategy. We have two stops planned.
Brilliant. Nice move. Fuck off, Mazapan. Let us pull away. Fucking Mazepin won't let us pull away. We're trying to pull away and he's not letting us do so. We're leading our teammate by 3.7 seconds. Can Mazepin let us fucking pull away? Losing two seconds a lap to you. Good job. God damn it, Mick. Stop fucking me over, you fucking retard.
safety gap to the car ahead is 4.3 seconds. The teammate behind is 6.9 seconds. God damn it. Hi, one person in chat, by the way. Russell, catch up! Can I let the AI catch up car and drive away, please? I'm running too wide and I'm trying to catch up to Alonzo. by a few tenths per lap. It's because they're on the medium tire or on the soft tire. running wide.
check your MFD for a new strategy option. Copy. Let Norris count, catch up. Look out, that was close. Should be pulling away, not losing ground. Wow, car! Damn it, I'm sorry, Norris. I was trying to save the car and I hit Norris, and that shouldn't be a warning. Green flag. Damn it. I'm sorry, Norris. I was trying to save the car and they didn't, shouldn't give me a warning for that bullshit. And I'm running really wide, like I'm just having no grip or whatever. Understand why the car wants to slow down for some reason. We can't fucking pull away from Russell. We're letting him catch up. Fucking car, stop slamming on the brakes, car! You fucking retard! Now you made me run wide. seconds. for next box. God damn it, car. Quit allowing Russell to catch up. Is there a problem with the damn car? starting to lose pace on these tires.
gonna do it, sister. Ow! Fucking cow! Mm. Hit my toe on the stupid table. Ow! Fucking toe hurts. Gap to car in front is 5.6 seconds. Probably guaranteed to finish in the top 10 in the Drivers' Championship. However, with our bad luck we've been having of late. And we took that corner a little too wide. Oh, Russell's been... The car ahead is a second a lap faster than you. Approaching the pit window, you'll be on the hearts. Now we're in the final points ping position, but we have to make another stop. I'm gonna do a hard tire at the end. I'm gonna try to go hard to the end. Might pit this lap. The only way I'm gonna catch up is if we get a safety car. Also, I want to remind everybody, if you're watching this premiere, there will be a Season 2. So, unlike the past several games I've done on this channel where I didn't get to do a Season 2, well, some of it, sometime, for for most of you guys, we're finally going to do Season 2 of My Team Crew Remote. It's going to be the same tracks. I wish we had China on there, but, oh, uh, well. I'm going to box this next lap. The teammate behind is Damn it. 8.2 seconds. Christian is coming in for a stop. We can't take you right now. Pit in next lap.
Understood, stopping this lap. And now we've let the AI catch up for no reason. Gap ahead is 13.2 seconds. God fucking damn it! We were gonna pit, and then I overshot the pit lane. Try again. Try a little tap. Look after these tires now. We want to finish the race on this compound. FIA, you retarded niggers. <sighs> this is frustrating me. is over steering under steering it is all over the damn place Front is one point eight seconds. Sup? Come back of the century, more like we're gonna need a lot of luck for the century. I just can't even catch these guys. Well, we're the only one that we can that can go to the end of the race on these tires. But I just can't even catch the hard or the soft tires. Apologies for the language. I'm just a little frustrated right now. Never been this upset right now. Yeah, because I don't think those 
The soft tires, they went like 15 laps or so, so tire wear is very high. These tires, you can go 50 laps, so we're going to the end of the race. I don't know how the medium tires can go to the end. This pace is strong, but be aware your tires need to go the distance. We're leading our teammate by 3.9 seconds. Yeah, I started on sauce because I had a free choice of tire because we didn't get out of Q1 is what happened, so, um, and of course we relegated up, we went up to P19 after all the penalties, we did softs on the first stop, we started the race on soft and used another set of softs, now we're on hards and we're going to go to the end of the race on hards, so we did, so instead of doing a three stop strategy, which was three softs and a medium tire, we decided to do a two stop strategy, and try to go to the end of the race on these tires. And see if that's the plan. But it's, it looks like the plan may or may not be working in our favor. But like you... I don't know why the car does not... Not know the sense. Quit slamming on the brakes for no reason. Because I'm not even touching the brake pedal. What the hell is this game doing? No, these the hard tires are going to the end on these hard tires. As we Boy, we're in danger of being getting beat by our teammate for the third race in a row. That's the first time ever in Abu Dhabi since I've done this career mode all the way back in 2017 that I've been out qualified by a teammate and that's embarrassing. And my teammate's right behind me, so. No, because I would, I would end up damaging our money and we don't have a spot for a teammate, but this could be Christian Lungard's last race with our team, because I definitely need a better driver than this. Because we're going to end up top 10 in the Drivers' Championship, we're going to end up 6 in the Constructors, regardless what happens. I'm going to let our teammate go, because I'm not going to fight our teammate. No, don't hit your teammate, Annie. Wow, we're just getting killed here. Okay, we lost the position. Try to keep focus. Oh, fucking hell, the leader's behind us. F. I don't know if we're gonna get points or not. Damn it, I had the lost the back of the car and hit Ocon. God damn it. We are not racing the car behind. Let them pass when you can. Hey Jeff, can you shut up for three seconds, please? I really don't like you interrupting me. The gap to the car ahead is 2.0 seconds. Just because I just want to take my frustration down on both tasks because I don't have a goddamn shit any fucking more.
happened. Let me know you're okay. Yeah, we're probably done because I don't think we're gonna even get a chance. Flag, blue flag. There's been an incident on track, but officials aren't looking to push for a safety car right now. Just be careful. Green flag. Yeah, we're done. Car's broken. We're done. I just don't think we have a competitive car. That's just it. We're done. I'll just park it. Because we're not going to gain any fucking spots. And so the celebrations begin. And well I don't RD. give a shit about Voltas winning the title. But as any racing driver will tell you, competing at this level, at the very top, is anything but simple. There's no catching them now then. We have a new World Drivers Champion. They've done it then. Just not, just not the race we want. If I'm just gonna get beaten by the AI, then there's no point in me finishing the race, so. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? Daniel Ricciardo certainly impressed me today. An incredible performance. It's another clear win for Mercedes as they managed to secure the Constructors' title. An incredible performance for the whole team. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. We're going to get eighth in the Drivers' Championship and sixth in the Constructors. Yippee fucking do. What a shit car we can't even com drive, so. Now we're going to go back to the headquarters. We only have one more part we need to buy, and then we're done. So. Our margins are looking good right now. I think we've got room for some more investment. Okay. First things first. Let's see. I'm going to do this just because I just want to save the, uh... All right. We don't have, so, now we've saved all the uh, parts, so now, um, let me check, none, none, so, alright, so that means R&D, that means we're in good shape, uh, go to driver market, uh, I'm going to take Robert Schwartzman. I want Robert Schwartzman on our team. Uh, let's do this. See if Robert Schwartzman accepts the deal. And yes, he is. Welcome to the team, Robert Schwartzman. So our teammate deal is taken care of. And there's nothing else to buy, so we're just going to go straight into. Our new, our new parts, parts have completed without, without issue. issue. They'll be on the They'll car, car ready for the next race weekend. Let's go to Will Buxton for our end of season interview. I'm going to change the livery before season two. Well, it's great to be back at your headquarters, and I've got to say, an awful lot's changed since we were last here. Let's dive in with some questions. It was great to see your teammate at the recent charity event, but with more races on the horizon, are you not concerned that these kind of distractions could hinder their performance? Other teams have invested more in their facilities than you have. Are you happy with what you have, or is there a cash flow issue? Isn't it safe to say you focused heavily on driver development?
Would it be safe to say that, in terms of team orders, there's no team at the orders. moment you seem to be a solid mid-tier team? What do you think will take your team to the next level? Well, thanks so much, as ever, for your time. It's hugely appreciated. Yeah. All right. That is season one for you. Not the way we want to end season one, sadly. But hey, what else? What else can I do? I mean, I just can't do anything about. Wouldn't you be? We're gonna be the Silver Arrow 2.0. This is our design for season number two. And I'll need to go ahead. Whoops. Need to go back. Sponsor decals. So we're going to run a black car with a teal. And, and it's really going to look good. Alright. That's a livery. You just got a glimpse of season two. It's... Let's hear oh, that. Okay. Somebody want to tell me how to stop this thing? Thank you. I need a moment. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, since we have some money left over, let's see if we need to invest. We're going to go ahead and do this. As an ice sweets, update Robert Schwartzman up. think everything else is fine. All right. Uh, so. So that means both the chassis and the um, durability have been protected because we have a regulation change. Unfortunately, and we, we need you to step in and make an executive decision here. No, we want it. We want the Thanks. driver. Focus. I appreciate you taking the time to help out. I want the focus up for uh, Schwartzman. I don't want his focus to go down. Finish season. Oh, let's see what kind of driver market we're in for for season two. Alright. Our brand new teammate, Robert Schwartzman, who we hope we're going to make sure to get him good. Holy Toledo, Ohio. Look at that. 26 mil. Holy Toledo, Ohio. Three wins, one pull, 130 points. Holy Toledo. That's a lot of points to do a shitload of upgrades. Holy shit. We're currently holding a substantial cash surplus. Let's put some of it to use by investing in our facilities. Oh. I guess we'll just remove China. But there it is. Portugal just got added to the deal. So there you go. Hate that China got cancelled. But you know what? Shit happens. Okay. Uh, no. Okay, discard the changes. That is our livery for season two. Advance. And here we are in season two. There's a lot to go over. All right, you know what? We're gonna do it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start level leveling. Leveling up. Easy for me to say. I can't even talk tonight. 
So we're going to do a level 2 for the arrow. So we have the money to do that. So arrow will be level 2. Uh, is there anything we need to buy? Upgrades complete. Nine parts. We just unlock the part. Um, we need to get this on the car because that is the most required thing. And let's do some activities while we're at it. Cash. Maybe driver camp just to get uh, Schwartzman up. And once we have more cash. Um, I just want to work with uh, Schwartzman. So we're going to go ahead and get through all this. Preseason merchandise sale, one mil. There's some more resource okay. points. We've had the new parts come through the fabrication process. We'll have them with us for the next grind. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade another facility while I'm thinking about it. I'm going to go ahead and update the racecraft because why not? So now we're going to get Schwartzman. Perfect. That's really going to help us. And. All these down forces, and now you're seeing the livery for season two. If you know what I mean. So, yeah, don't listen to my roommate laughing because he'll probably make fun of me and say nutty things. Alright. Season one didn't go the way we want it, but fingers crossed season two will be much better. So, got Robert Schwartzman. We're now also going to get that upgrade that failed on the, the on. So we're going to go ahead and buy that, and that'll be in time, and it'll be on the car for. Um, be on the car. So let's see. Do we have anything else we need to? do? We've upgraded pretty much. This one's on level two. I need to do the simulator. Get it on level two. We'll get durability on level two. But now it's going to be a shitload of money. So. Alright. If y'all are ready. Let's sim. Our new Our parts have completed without, without issue. issue. They'll be on the car, the car ready for the next race. Alright. Now we're in level 2. Finally hit level two. This will be after Bahrain for that. And then we're going to start working on durability, get that upgrade and all that. So, Ooh, got 110 resource points. And look at that. We're, we've jumped over Williams and Haas. So some of them took a big hit. Some of them did not. All right. Let's buy something while we're at it. Okay. Ooh, supply is upgraded. Okay. And now will be in time for the Portuguese Grand Prix. Alright, cylinder heads that uh, failed last season are now onto the car. I'm trying to see if we have anything we need to buy. Before I sign off. Don't think so. We need to start getting this up. That's a major upgrade. Alright. So. I think that is going to do it. My friends. This one. We're going to have to get that one. That will be a major upgrade. Which will take a major upgrade. Alright. Well. Season 1 didn't go as according to plan, but I'm kind of curious how we're going to do in Season 2 and all that. So, uh, next race, next next up is Season 2 of my Team Career Mode. You've gotten a look at the car. Um, we've upgraded uh, aerodynamics to Level 2. Now we're going to work on getting the chassis up to Level 2, getting the durability up to Level 2, get everything up to Level 2. 
and then we should fight in the midfielder and start scoring a shitload of points. So that is coming up next, uh, whenever that's going to be. Um, coming up next, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, we'll have Triple P from the uh, Bristol weekend and then Season 2 right out of the gate. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. Sorry if we had a disappointing end to the season. Um, if you didn't see season one, there's the season one results. We end up as a uh, Baltas won the championship. Christian Lungard in scoring points, so we moved on with Christian Lungard. And uh, nothing else has changed as far as silly season. So it's the same drivers as we just picked up. Um, um, our te a new teammate, which is Robert Schwartzman, so we're very excited to have him aboard. And now he's at an 81, so that's really going to do us a shitload of good. Um, I'm trying to think what else I need to do. Oh, perks, that's what I want to do. Uh, driver perks, that's what I want. Let's buy that. Buy that. Alright. So now our driver perks are all in gauge and all that so now our wear is going to be 10% lower than what we had so there we go so uh hope you guys enjoyed look at that we got them to a 90 focus so that's really going to help us a lot so if you guys enjoyed it like favorite subscribe really sorry about the end of season one but season two we should get off with a bang so if you enjoyed it like favorite subscribe thank you for watching and take it easy and we'll see you for season two of the f1 2021 my team crew mode till then Take care, everybody.